came. She came fast, fast into my mouth. She stayed there in a lingering pose, tossing with my pencils. Going deep wet with tears and pencils, she comes again today. As soon as I passed the doorway, she came to stay. Gag me with a spoon, I say, but nothing works. She stays, coming in my mouth again, vanity hanging by a thread. Well, on my side, certainly very interesting. I mean, it's been very difficult because um, of what you expose and, I mean, about yourself. Now, it, it was really pleasant to see that actually people reacted really nicely. I mean, people have been very gentle and excited by it. So, so that's a good, a good response, of course. And give me oomph to do more, to keep going and, yeah, to keep going to show, show the way. On the first day, I'll be building um, a, a piece, a work. It is composed of um, the packets, the, the bottles and um, cardboard boxes of the medication I've been taking for about 10 years, and I kept the boxes. And I thought to do something about it, and so I'm going to make a sculpture uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to come out. I've got, I've got a design in my head. We'll see how it goes. Inspiration is important in terms of bringing hope or creating hope. Giving something out of something difficult, as of something impossible, as something really unfair, and try to make out of this difficult situation something which is still bringing inspiration or hope, yeah, that's what it is about. No you shit, you can't always get what you want, the kiss, kill me now while you still can, KMA, kiss my ass, keeping going dear, I know you've won every abomination price going, a knowledge of some sort, a remedy to yourself. Knock knock, who's there? Knob, knob who? Avant, y avait King Kong. Maintenant, y a King Kong. For example, here, um, la liberté de l'intelligence ou de l'intelligence de l'amour uh, has been conceived just by finding out on the pavement uh, this this shape, very defined in bits like that, separated in shapes and colors, from a dried out stain on the pavement. And being stricken by it, writing it down, shutting it down quickly, and then going home and finding what the material, what the, the grain could help me express exactly what I felt when I saw that stain. And that's how it comes out in the end. Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, prête-moi ta plume pour écrire un mot. Ma chandelle est morte, je n'ai plus de feu. Ouvre-moi ta porte pour l'amour de Dieu. Au clair de la lune, donc un titre chanté, a song title for this piece, which were um, doodled when I was about 16 in a, in, a <laughs> in a class of philosophy, where I was quite inspired by the idea of a vessel that would comport as well as the soul animals to sail away under the moonlight, where um, 
shapes and shadows are melting nicely. Using silk felt and knitwear allows to have a very good definition of all the different textures and of course playing with the soft duality of tones. The threads, the threads that are tied together by the weaving are seen in nearly individually by this process of hanging the pieces instead of having it directly against the wall, which allows, of course, as you can see here, transparency to happen and give in detail each thread, like if each individual thread was essential to amount to the result of this. And maybe try to remind people of their quality, of their quality that we all are a thread in this in this weave of the universe and this presentation participates to that principle of lightness and airiness and things moving into one another, being there together, turning their back to one another, being able to be consulted front and back, sides, up and down and the magic of this place, because of the rafters, of course, which allows the show to be exactly like it is now, um, gently suspended and turning on itself lightly. There's lots of lightness that allows lots of lightness in the show, this principle. Nothing is quite definitive, uh, but definitively there, or it's quite, it gives you an idea of um, Temporality, and there definitely also um, an air of attic, maybe an attic, so maybe something from the past, maybe something which does not need electricity. I mean, there's no electricity involved in the making of this work. Uh, maybe, a can maybe a light up at night, probably, but that's about it. And maybe that's proposing a liaison in between the past and the future where now everything relies on electricity more or less. It was interesting to do the drag day in order to bring a different uh, atmosphere during the show and I think that worked really well. People that came down really enjoyed it and that's essential. Um, also, well, yeah, visitors, visitors were, were positive. L'importance d'aimer ou de l'indifférence du papier peint. The importance of love or the indifference of painted paper, wallpaper. Making or trying to find some humanity in a place where there's none by just striking about 13 stroke of brush on a paper. 13 stroke that would, that would play just like the smoke in the air, a very light, caress, a gesture that repeats itself like a mantra, and offering every time a non-looker, a spirit, a shadow, a ghost. But as long as the ghost is wet, it seems he looks back at you and then keeps a character and completes the collection, invades the whole space, covers all the wall, giving you a presence, giving a presence. Mem illusory, just like hope, but suddenly, fantastically real, and nicely comforting. The amount of ink, the amount of time spent caressing the paper, all 
participate to create even very similar, always a different character. A sort of hope is thus created out of thin air and a thread. Ready to hang. <laughs> <laughs>